and said an inflammatory pain management. Objective. What are NSAID? Cell and molecular biology of inflammation, mechanism of action, inflammation and drug target, non-selective NSAID and selected NSAID, summary of NSAID. NSAID are the oldest and the most widely used pain medication in history. Salicin, which metabolizes to salicylic acid, is an active ingredient found in willow bark and was first isolated in 1800. At the end of the 19th century, acetyl salicylic acid, or aspirin, was synthesized and soon after, NSAID would have similar property to aspirin was discovered. The nomenclature NSAID, which stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, was given to this class of drug to distinguish them from the anti-inflammatory activity of glucocorticoids. NSAID are used primarily to treat inflammation in addition to mild or moderate pain and fever. Inflammation is a complex biological response of vascular tissues to harmful stimuli such as pathogens, damaged cells, or irritants. It is a protective attempt by the organism to remove the harmful stimuli as well as to initiate the healing process for the tissue. When a pathogen invades a tissue, it almost always elicits an inflammatory response. Changes in local blood vessels cause a response characterized by pain, redness, heat, and swelling at the site of injury. The blood vessels dilate and become permeable to fluid and proteins, leading to local swelling and an accumulation of blood proteins that aid and defend. The inflammation process can be considered as an event of the immune response through which tissue damage occurs. Tissue damage is accompanied by the release of several biochemical mediators such as histamine, bradykinin, platelet activating factor, and a group of lipid materials known as leukotrienes and prostaglandins. These mediators are responsible for the symptoms that accompany the inflammation process. Histamine, bradykinin, and leukotrienes cause the swelling and redness of the inflamed area. This is due to vasodilation and increased capillary permeability. Prostaglandins, on the other hand, increase tissue sensitivity to pain and causes elevation of body temperature. Prostaglandins are compounds found within most tissues and organs that stimulate nerve cells signaling pain to the brain. They swell the blood vessels at the injured site, opening space in the capillary walls for the white blood cells to enter. The blood and plasma rushing out of those enlarged vessels causes the swelling, tenderness, and redness. Prostaglandins are a group of autocoids that are endogenously synthesized from a polyunsaturated fatty acid precursor called arachidonic acid. Upon tissue exposure to any of the inflammation precipitating factors, cell membranes release arachidonic acid by partial hydrolysis of lipids by the membrane-bound enzyme phospholipase. What is the mechanism of action of NSAIDs? So what happens when you have an injury tissue? Phospholipids are released in the cell membrane, which are converted to arachidonic acid, which in turn converts to cyclooxygenase, COX-1 and 2, which converts back to prostaglandin and um, thromboxin. What does NSAID do? NSAIDs inhibit the action of COX by competitive antagonists to prevent the formation of inflammatory mediators such as prostaglandins and thromboxin. COX-1 present in the most tissue, in the gastrointestinal tract, and it maintains the normal lining of the stomach. It involved in the kidneys and the platelet aggregation. So what is COX-2? COX-2 is only present in the macrophages and monocytes. It is inducible, and it's only responsible for pain and inflammation. Non-selective NSAID drugs, Motrin, Ibuprofen, and Aleve Naproxen, work by blocking the actions of both COX-1 and COX-2, thus inhibit prostaglandin synthesis, used to treat pain, inflammation, headache, and arthritis. Possible side effects are drowsiness, stomach pain or cramps, heartburn, GI bleeding. The drug interactions with anticoagulants, diuretics, hypertensive drugs. Aspirin, acetylated form of salicylic acid, Aspirin works by two mechanisms, irre irreversibly alter the COX-2 enzyme responsible for production of prostaglandin by donating an acetyl group to a serine residue, thus inactivate COX-2, 
Second mechanism is to inhibit transcription of the COX-2 mRNA, preventing more enzyme from, be from being produced by an unknown mechanism. Property of aspirin is analgesic, antipyretic, and anti-inflammatory. Aspirin also exerts beneficial effects on the cardiovascular system. However, prolonged use of aspirin increased GI bleeding and eucerogenic potential. COX-2 selective inhibitor. NSAIDs inhibit GI mucus secretion, also known as mucin, and induce GI acidity. Specifically, inhibit COX-2 to prevent or decrease chances of GI effects normally caused by inhibition of COX-1 by first-generation NSAIDs. COX-2 inhibitor binds its polar sulfonamide side chain to distinct hydrophilic side pocket regions that are not present on COX-1 isoform. Here's an example of COX-2 selective inhibitor, Celebrex. COX-2 selective inhibitors are used in treatment of osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and acute pain. Possible, possible side effects include high blood pressure, skin reactions, and GI problems. Examples are Celebrex, Vioxx, which was recently discontinued due to increased risk of myocardial infarction and stroke, and Bextra, which has uh, currently no generics available. In summary, NSAIDs are the oldest and most widely used drugs and they're different from steroids. Inflammation is the protective attempt to remove pathogens and heal tissue. Drug targets for inflammation include phospholipase A2, COX-1, and COX-2. COX-1 is in most tissues. Inhibitors are non-selective. Inhibition leads to ulcers, increased bleeding time, kid and kidney problems. COX-2 are in macrophages and monocytes. Inhibitors are non-selective or selective. Biox was recently removed from due to the amount of increased myocardial infarction and stroke risks. Mo the most common NSAIDs used are aspirin, Motrin, Aleve, and Coxid.